Hi, my name is Alexandra Giese. I'm a PhD student at Dartmouth College and a fellow in the IGERT program. I study in the Earth Sciences Department in Bob Hawley's Glaciology Group. The group as a whole looks at the world's ice sheets and how they've been changing size in response to climate changes in the past and particularly recently. And most of that work is through satellite data. The first reason I'm very interested in temperature in ice sheets is that we can learn a lot about the physical properties of snow and fern, which is the intermediary stage between snow and ice. Uh, we can learn a lot about how heat is transferred from the surface down into the ice. And that's a project I'm working on um, from data here at Summit Greenland. So we're at the top of the Greenland ice sheet right now on an Igert Field Seminar, atop two miles of ice. And this is exciting because I get to see the site where uh, my data are from. The second reason that I'm interested in heat and ice sheets is that we can reconstruct the thinning and thickening of an ice sheet from um, coupling the temperature data to uh, looking at the thickness of the layers in an ice sheet. And that's a project that I will be working on in the future from a 750 meter deep core in an area of West Antarctica called the Ross Sea. I'm really excited about studying ice sheets because I'm very interested in the social and political and economic implications of global sea level rise that we'll see as a response to um, climate change into the 21st century and afterwards. And I believe that my work fits into that um, in sort of two ways. The first is by looking at the thermal properties of the fern at summit, we can better understand how um, the snow and fern is compacting at the surface. And then we have a better understanding of what data we're reading from satellites, which is telling us how the ice sheet is shrinking. Um, and the second thing is by looking at the past temperatures of the ice in Antarctica and also how it thinned and thickened in response to past climates, we can then better understand the relationship between temperature and climate and ice growth or retreat, and then better inform models that are projecting ice sheet retreat and contribution to sea level rise into the future. Okay.